everyone, Peter Hewitt, La Artistino. I thought I'd give you something nice to look at to start this video off. This is what I'm currently working on in Joanna Basford's Magical Jungle. And I'm using these, bring them over here, Kayser Craft or Kayser Colour Artist Colouring Pencils for that. My husband picked them up for me when we were away once. As you can see, nice bright colours. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. First of all, I've got a confession to make. I was in the city uh, this afternoon with my daughter shopping for pants for her for work and I saw these. These are the Jane Davenport um, watercolour sets and I couldn't resist. So I'm going to have a play with those. If anybody out there would like me to review these, I'm quite happy to. So just leave a message below and I'll, I'll look into that. Now, the thing that I actually want to talk about is when I got home, I sat down and set up to um, try out my new watercolours and my husband popped out to grab some bread so he could make some sandwiches. We were out of bread. And he came home with this. And he said to me, he said to me, I've got something for you and you're going to be so excited. It's the best present you've ever had. And he gave me this and I don't know if the camera can zoom in on that to see who it's from, but it is a package from Joanna Basford. And I think this is her new colouring book, but I've been holding off while we've been setting up the camera before I start to open it because I thought I'd share the opening with you. So I've not seen this book yet and I don't know if it's out yet. Um, actually, no, it's not out. It'll be a preview version. I'll have to... I'll find out the date it's released and, oh look, I don't even have to cut it. I'll find out the date it's released and I'll put it in the information below for you. Slide it out. This is, big, this is more than a book. Uh, hang on, I'm going to have to wriggle it a little bit. I thought I was being really clever just opening up the side flat and I'm wondering if that's the way to do it. Uh, oh, oh, that's got stuck on the sticky tape inside, that's why. Don't you love this tape? Look at that. The print on it. It's just so beautiful. I hope she sells that. It's gorgeous. Now I'm caught on something else down here. What is it? Oh, this looks exciting. Here we go. Got it. The back off. I really probably should have opened that box all the way up. Alright, let's open her up and see what's inside. Hi. Okay. Oh, this looks exciting. I think I've got something else in there too. Straighten that up a little bit. I'm going to have to snip this, I think. Where's the side bits? There it is. Oh, now I've just got my pair of scissors. See, I steer away from knives now. I'm sensible. I use scissors. I have learned. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, I just want to rip it. Hello. This looks pretty, pretty cool. Oh, pop. Beautiful. Now, oh, I can slip this out. <gasps> Hello. We have got. Oh, I don't have these. It's the it's the Ergo Soft pencils. Wow, in a tin, and it's her own. Joanna's got her own picture on it, so it's like her issue of it. Wow. Hang on. I'm just going to open these up first and have a look. Take the little stickies off the back. Gorgeous. I have never tried the Ergo Soft. It's a set of pencils I don't actually own. Get this open. Oh, hello. Aren't they pretty? I love pencils. There's something about opening a new set of pencils that's just so yummy and these look like they're going to be really soft hang on have I got my yeah here it is I've got a little oh, this is actually a watercolour book but it'll do so that's just my foam pinging let's have a look I'll grab that these are German made these this is a company that um, she often promotes oh they look nice if you can see that that's the purple it's really nice and dark ah. okay well I'm going to have something in with those. Let's have a look at the book she sent me. There we go. Oh, I'll have to dig it out. Am 
more wrestling. It would be easier if I find the end and just unwrap it, wouldn't it? That'd make sense. I'm ripping this beautiful tape. I'm going to have to pull off a nice piece of that tape and put it in my um, mixed media book. Oh, wow. And I've got a picture to colour of a butterfly, one that she's drawn, and a sign little greeting there. Happy colouring, Peter. Oh, thank you very much, Joanna. Beautiful. And here it is. Wow. Wrapped in tissue paper. Let's get her open. I'll save that sticker too. I'll put that in my multimedia book. Does any, any of you out there um, do multimedia stuff? Oh, every so often I love to grab my acrylic paints out and stuff and go nuts. Ah, here we go. There it is. Ivy and the inky butterfly. Oh, I love it. And uh, the cover is a thick card cover um, with... Oh, I'm... I'll just wiggle that round to the light so you can see it is green and gold foil on there and it's just absolutely beautiful. The dragon in the corner there is so cute. Oh man, I know what I'm going to do this weekend. I've got so many things I have to do. I've got to finish work for a client and I've also got to um, finish my online course but ah, I think I can be distracted with this. This is lovely. It's got a nice, I can't force that open but um, it's got a nice fold out cover so you can keep your place in the book with a um, print design I like what I call a wallpaper design on there it's um, stuck to the first page so you'd have to be very careful opening it I have to press it down very carefully and make a fold in the cardboard to open it I think oh, just for the first page I do like the first page though that's gorgeous <laughs> oh, oh hey she's put my name in as well Oh, thank you, Joanna, and signed as well. Oh, gee, this is a, she is a lovely person, you know. I watch her YouTube videos, and she comes across as such a lovely person. Ah, now this is the one where it's a story as well, a written story as well as the colouring. And the paper is beautiful. It's thick, um, thick card-like paper. It feels like it's got a nice tooth on it, just a slight tooth, so you can get nice smooth um, colouring effects. Uh, do you want to go through it? I'll go through it. Let's go through it, hey? Oh, wow. I love that. I haven't seen her do interior scenes like this with all this detail. Oh, gee, she can do that well too as well. Uh-huh. Oh, and there's the bow. Oh, look, it's the same butterfly that's on the little card here. I might try colouring in that little card with the um, the staglers first to test them out. I don't want to push down too hard. I don't want to fold the book. I'll have to eventually fold the book down hard so I can colour it. It's still got a little bit of bounce there. So it's not going to lie flat first off. You're going to have to push it down to get it open. They're beautiful. <sighs> flowers. Flowers are fun. I like flowers because you can go nuts with the colours on flowers, can't you? You're not limited. I mean, actually, you can go nuts with colours on anything. You're not limited to, to any colour, but flowers just flowers just scream for all those pinks and purples and oranges and yellows. Let's sit down and read this book now. Oh, that's pretty. That's reminiscent of a um, that picture in her, a very popular picture in her um, first book, Secret Garden. Bumblebee. Oh, and then you got the tooth page spreads. Ah, I love that. Do you know we've got these um, trees, little blossoming trees in our um, avenue at present. They only blossom for about two or three weeks, but um, the, the light pink blossoms are magnificent. I have to go outside actually. I was coming home this afternoon. I passed one of them next the next door neighbour's one. And I thought I'm going to have to go out there and paint that because it just looks so beautiful. Oh look, that's the um, that's not the same as the the front flap, the inside front cover. Oh, one of the boat scenes again, reminiscent of um, uh, Enchanted Forest. 
but very pretty. I'd love to see these in a book. Another gorgeous detailed um, house on stilt scenes. Lovely medley. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, there's the characters as well. You've got the mouse and you've got the little girl. And there's the butterfly again, sort of a mandala type um, picture. There's a lot of these framework, fancy frame, framework areas that are, are fun to colour in as well. <laughs> oh, wow, I love that. This one here, the shop, the whole thing. They're like, I love these kind of shops. I want to find them. Just full of knick-knacky things. So like antique shops, and curio shops. Trying to keep this in frame for you. The hanging things, more fancy framework. All of these frameworks, little framed um, pages are uh, have different designs on them. Oh, mushrooms. Who doesn't like colouring toadstools and mushrooms? That's a uh, foxglove, I think. Oh, it's pretty too. This is gorgeous. It's a picnic set and it's surrounded by garden. I like the um, line width in this one. It looks the same sort of line width as you see in uh, Magical Jungle, which is good. I felt that the line width in, in um, Lost Ocean was just a little too fine to be totally enjoyable. But this has got, uh, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. I love griffins. There's a griffin on the other page, wasn't there? Yeah, there's a pair of them. I like that. girl's name is Ivy. My uh, youngest niece is also called Ivy. She was born, I saw her born earlier this year. That's pretty, that's reminiscent of um, old-fashioned uh, manuscripts, isn't it? Oh, that's cute. The chandelier. There's plenty of pages in, oh I like that. Uh, you, you notice I kind of gravitate to the double page spreads, don't you? Mm. Yeah. And once again, I'm just noting that she's been careful in avoiding to put detail in the centre so that you're not um, having to squish your pencil down into the centre groove to colour in. It's very considerate of her. She listens to her, um, her fans and to her colourists. Where am I? I'm trying to get the centre for you. There we go. I like that. Dragon King. And a goblet. Ah, oh, and a framework of butterflies. More dragons. And of course you always have a heart. Somewhere in a book she always has a heart. Love those butterfly frames. Oh, that's pretty too. Shows she can draw people, she can do faces. She's kind of amazing. <laughs> I like that. The Dragon Queen. I'm not spoiling the story for anybody. Because <laughs> it is an ongoing story, as you can see there's quite a lot of text and it looks like a beautiful story. more large butterflies. Okay, that's, oh, that's a nice little one too. And the end. And here. Oh no, that's, uh, no, it's not the end. Sorry, we keep going here. Oh my God. Jeez, there's a lot in here. Oh, look, that's the end. And she has left a page as a test page. Another fantastic idea with nothing on either side so you don't have to worry about damaging a picture. 
Now this one I should mention is published by Penguin Books in New York. Uh, so this is the US copy of the book. I don't know if it's going to be different from the UK copy. I'll just have to wait and see about that. But this book is, I'm totally happily, happy with it. I'm be quite happy to um, include this in my favourites shelf. I have two shelves for my colouring books. One's for colouring books, the other's where my favourites all sit. You've got all of her previous publications there. And there you go. Well, thank you very, very much for sending me this to review. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'll test out these Staedtlers and tell you what I think of them. Okay, everybody, I've got to go now. I hope you enjoyed this little surprise happy mail and walkthrough and a bit of a natter about the things I've been up to. I will see you next time in the next video. And until then, to you all, happy colouring. <laughs>